Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living and thanks for watching my videos and welcome to all my new subscribers. And I want to talk about Walgreens. It's June the 16th of 2013. Um, these are the three things that I purchased today. Um, this, these are headbands, stretchy headbands that are for 50 cents. I used them as a filler. Um, I'll get into that when I talk about my transaction. I had a $7 register reward that was expiring today. I had gotten two weeks ago. So um, my goal was is to spend that and get some back, which I got seven dollars and a two fifty back. Okay, so I'll go through here and show you the things that are register reward deals. Okay, and tell you what I know about them. Um, these Colgate is three dollars, get two fifty back, and we got the fifty cent off coupon in the Smart Source today. Okay, so essentially that makes it free. It'd be two fifty out of pocket and get two fifty back. Um, the crushed white strips, you're giving back a $10 register reward right there. Um, reach these double pack toothbrush and this floss is $2.99, get $2 back. Um, people on Slick Deals were saying that a dollar off Reach toothbrush coupon showed up on coupons.com um, yesterday or today. I don't know. I didn't go and look at it. I didn't have any way to print it. Um, so you might look at that. And then I think all the other deals are back here. Um, this Fiber Smart Clear Fiber is $9.99, get $9.99 back. Um, some people on Slick Deals were talking about a coupon. I do not have that coupon. Um, check a coupon database. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know where that coupon came from. I obviously didn't get it in my area. And then this um, Kiosk DS, $7, get $7 back, which is this. And I do have a $2 manufacturer coupon. Um, I think this came off of Kiosk's website, not their Facebook, okay? But you, if you don't find it on their website or in a coupon database or a link to it, then go to their Facebook. I can't remember. I don't think it was on their Facebook. Well, anyways, it is just a JPEG picture, okay? Um, it's, not, it's not a PDF. It prints out really gigantic if you're just in your browser and you tell it to print. I told it, I right clicked on the picture and I told it that I picked the thing that says save as image and I just saved it to the computer. And then I just double clicked on it on my computer and opened it up with the program on the computer um, that if you have Windows, it should just open it right up. And then I used that to print it and I told it to shrink it inside of that program um, so that it wouldn't print so gigantic. <laughs> okay, so um, anyways. So that makes it $5 out of pocket and get $7 back, all right? There are some coupons inside of the box. That's why it's popped open. Um, I just wanted to show them to you. Um, people on Slick Deals were saying this, so I already knew. But this is save $3. But this is on, if you read the fine print right here, it's on the 28 count, and this is the 14 count. So that coupon isn't good on there, but there are coupons. Maybe use them on some other deal later. Okay, and then this is um, some H+. Plus hair hemorrhoid cream seven dollars get seven dollars back okay i don't know about a coupon for that all right anyways um yeah so i had this seven dollars that was expiring today and i could have just got hemorrhoid cream but i didn't want that <laughs> and so um i decided to get this so this was five dollars so i needed something else that was two dollars in there to use the seven dollars i had okay so I decided to go ahead and get the Colgate. Well, okay, so that totaled then after the coupon seven fifty. But I had a coupon attached to this, this manufacturer coupon, and then I had this coupon attached to this, and I was trying to use one seven dollar um, register reward, which made a third coupon and only two items. You can't have more coupons than you have items, and this is considered a coupon. So I had to throw something else into the transaction, and that's why I went over to the clearance rack and I just looked for something that I thought might be useful. I can give this as a gift. Um, so that's why I picked that up, okay? And instead of you know a stupid caramel for 33 cents, <laughs> which isn't worth much. So anyhow, that's why I ended up paying a dollar and then 74 cents in tax um, for all of this, and then I got back. Um, a seven and a two fifty, and I couldn't really think of any good way to roll these 
because without having a bunch of fillers, if I had found something that was like, you know, less than 15 cents as a filler in the store, I would have gone back in and rolled these a little bit more because um, like if I wanted to take this $9.50 and buy this Fiber Smart, I'd still need a filler because that's only one item and then these are two coupons. Okay, and I didn't want to, like I said, if I had found something really inexpensive in the store to use as a filler item, I would have done it. Or, you know, if there was something giving back points that I thought was worth it or something like that. Um, but anyways, I decided um, to not do it. it. If they run a day this week where they're going to give you like one of those um, um, five off a $20 purchase coupons or whenever, you know, they run those sometimes, if they do one of those this week, I'll probably go back um, and pick up some of these other items because then then they'll start becoming a better money maker and I and I'll be okay with rolling them <laughs> and picking up other stuff. Okay, now that I've babbled on, um, I'm going to quit there. I'll talk to you guys later.